everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review with me. And today, today we're back in the Jujutsu Kaisen mod. It's gotten another fun little update, which uh, from the stuff I've seen from it, it's what I've been looking quite forward to. But yeah, we got an update for this not too long ago. Thankfully, Mod Maker has been making a bunch of updates, which is good because Jujutsu Kaisen anime has been going and it's, it's, it's been a bit hyped for playing more of the Jutsu Kaisen mod and getting some fun new additions is always fun. So uh, yeah, uh, we're up to three chests now for stuff in the mods. Why did I not put the... Okay, I mean we're still up to three chests but like I apparently just missed it the entire bottom row. Don't know how I did that but I did, but never mind. It's fine. So uh, yeah, I got a bunch of fun things added in from last time like you know muscle suit and some hair in an outfit and even more hair and those wing things along with yeah some fun little orbs here that let you get mastery over various techniques like reverse curse technique and simple domain and domain expansion which yeah i don't know like, i'm assuming you can get those things in survival like from the baby curse or from those weird stand thing bugs where's the where's the thing for them yeah these things these things can drop pretty much just about anything when you kill them. Well, c c case in point proven, uh, these things can in fact drop. It's just happening just because I'm in, in, in... No, no, there we go, it's more normal. Okay, that was just some absurd luck then. Either that or these are becoming more common. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. But yeah, for anyone wondering about getting these, uh, basically, yeah, if you break these things, there's a chance that it can drop any, pretty much any of the Jujutsu Kaisen items. So, yeah, well, we're breaking when you find them out in the world. But yeah, uh, some fun things just for giving us extra options for unlocking them. Unlocking them normally though, it's just a case of use your cursing a bunch of time to take a little damage. Cool. Along with this chap, Ryo Ishigori slash difficult in normal. Uh, yeah, this guy basically has a curse tuning where he blasts out a lot of energy. I couldn't remember who he was. Because, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the one of the most recent arcs of Yutsu Kaisen introduced a bunch of characters. And while I remembered his hair, I didn't remember what his cursed technique was. Uh, it turns out he just has a fat load of cursed energy and he can blast it at people. That's pretty much his thing. It's fairly simple and I mean yeah, it's representing the fact that you can get a technique and it's just one technique. It's just you send out a blast of energy. Apparently you can charge it though. Didn't realise that. But yeah, we've also got, yeah, so we're going to mostly focus on new stuff obviously. I uh, just slightly recapping over some little stuff and going over some questions I got in the comment section from last time and boom ba dum ba dum but yeah some new things though just from when you start when i started up i got given this stuff which includes this thing insect infinite it looks like a silverfish uh i'm not quite sure what this thing's meant to actually be from jujutsu kaisen but i believe eating this thing is supposed to give us maximum like permanent max saturation which is really good if that is the case i mean an easy way of figuring that one out is Yep, how about we nibble on that? Advancement, bum ba dum insect, infinite... Is... So, did I just not get hungry now? Is that what that means, or...? I really should just Google search what that word is, because I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Sit, sit. I don't know how you pronounce this word. I don't think I've ever had anyone say this word to me since before. The feeling of... The feeling or state of being sated. Cool. I like it, it's only a bunch of food charts. So, uh... Yeah, basically going off of what the Google search is saying. That means I should not get hungry anymore, which is incredibly powerful. Like, a big part of the combat trouble I had fighting against various mobs in this is pretty much me having to stop to have a nibble on some food so I don't get killed. Because when you have max hunger permanently, that means your regeneration works full blast pretty much all the time. And there are numerous ways you can get regeneration in this mod. One being reverse christening, the other being the, uh, the general's uh, little halo ring thing above his head so oh uh, yeah that's that's quite a big power jump potentially but you get right at the start i'd have to find that that was just given to me so i guess now we're meant to play this game with max hunger which says a few things because here's the thing last few updates we've gotten we've been getting ai updates like the things are being get, the, the mobs in this are getting better at combat it's terrifying because they were already vicious and now they're getting even better at figuring out the best way to beat me down. So, uh, yeah, with the latest update, even more people have gotten even more updates. And I'm assuming now yeah, we're pretty much just been given max hunger, so we can always try and run away from them. 
<laughs> so we can have a sh just so we have a shot at getting away. Because if we have to stop to eat, we're doomed, apparently. That's that's my take on it. Probably not what it actually means, but... Yeah, yeah, we're... Surviving this one's going to be rough when you first start. Anyway, onward to new stuff. So, yeah, we've got this thingy. Kill, kill, kill. From this update, we've also got uh, two new cursed techniques to play around with. Uh, a couple of new mobs. And the mob I missed last time. Oh, we'll look at it in a second. I don't actually know if he does anything, but we'll check on a second. So, uh, first thing, mobs. They don't really do anything yet, but they're in. And I like the fact that they're in. So, uh, yeah. Transfigured humans. I just realized I'm in survival mode. I'm going to die. Oh, hello. Jujitsu game rules. I was just putting keep inventory on because I'm going to end up dying a load in this if I'm doing things like that. Uh... Entities use guards. They even realize they could use guards. Is that they don't normally use guards? That's not normally a thing in this, is it? Like we just we just hit techniques off each other, don't we? I think so. Um, yeah. Then we've got Jitsu PvP. I assume that's meaning PvP against player to player, obviously. So if you got our friend on, so you actually hit them with your big technique, like you know, if you're using a domain expansion build them. Upgrade difficulty. That's very interesting. I, hmm. And vanilla mob spawning, which, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to play in a world, it's mostly filled with jujutsu people. Then, yeah, you might want to turn vanilla mob spawning so that all the spawn rate is being used by the jujutsu people. Lovely. Anyway, let's head back here really quick. Is he still here? No, he's left. Good. Oh, yeah, let me know. I just picked up reverse curse technique because I got shredded there. So, yeah, wait, I picked... Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't. Never mind. It's because the orb. As soon as I picked up the orb, because I wasn't in creative mode, it instantly just absorbed into my being, apparently. Interesting. Anyway, I did apparently become a grade for a sorcerer from that, though. Because I got exposed to curse energy. So, Mahito's in, basically. And he's what I've been looking forward to. Him and one other one. I've been looking forward to appearing in this because I, they were in the old version of the mod. And they were pretty cool. And also, Mahito's got a really cool domain expansion. Which, as far as I know, he doesn't actually do much yet. Like, he doesn't really have much in the way of curse technique. But he does seem to just extend his armor there. So, he does something. He has 420 health. So he's fairly strong, as a thing, and uh, yeah, I, I'm just glad he's going to be getting worked on, I guess, because uh, assuming that if we're getting him here now, that means one of the next big things is going to be Mahito getting powered up, so that should be fun. So yeah, it seems like he can grow his arm out a little bit, but he doesn't really do much else. I am kind of curious what his technique's going to entail, because obviously he can create like transfigured humans, technically he can one-shot people in some cases. And then obviously, his domain expansion. So, that should be a fun one. But yeah, he's here, he's in. He's one of the big deities. Sort of. Uh, so, it'd be fun to see him in doing, causing a bit of chaos. And when he gets the next big update, hopefully. Anyway, ignoring Itadori getting killed. If we go over here, curse techniques! We've got a couple of new ones. So, oh, yeah. We've got one from the book, but like the other one is this thing Nanami's weapon. Nanami's. Ability is pretty much um, obviously from this weapon, I believe. Though, is he in the book now? Babum. No, no, I mean, he is in the book. So he's, actually, he's actually got a proper book thing now. Wait a minute, is this thing not tight? Oh, this thing's not tight to his weapon anymore. I assume his weapon. I just right clicked with it. He just tried to do something. Where'd where'd he go? There he is. I can't use this now. Okay, so it, it, it's acknowledging the fact I'm trying to do something with a cursed thing, but I can't actually do it. Okay, well, let's grab it then. Nanami. But oh, oh, so you just get his weapon, so you do it. Okay, cool. So we've got lane segment, claps, attack, not back attack, his attack, the usual thing. So yeah, okay, lane segment. But um, okay, that didn't. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's uh, not quite sure how this works. Uh, <laughs> creating lanes, because does it. Does it matter if I actually hit with it? I don't know. Or I can just say clap. That just makes boulders fall, though. Oh, that does look cool, though. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. This guy's technique's been before. I've never been able to really get a hang of it. I've never been very good at using his technique. But, uh, yeah, so you can create lane segment. How do you trigger... Hmm. How do, you, how do you do the thing where it does the cut? Or do I have to be in survival mode for that to happen? I may have to be in survival mode for that, in which case I'm screwed because there's no way I can do that. I, I I will die if I do that. It will not it will not happen. Alright, going in survival mode for a moment. Uh, 
It's not looking good, no. Oh, dear. Okay, maybe we jump down a few stages. Maybe we just go for very basic creature. Ow! Stop it. I, I, I don't really get this guy's technique. I've never understood it. <laughs> Case in point, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just clicking buttons to try to make it work. I, I, I can't. I can't get it the trigger. I, I don't I don't get it. Okay, well if we go for something a little bit bigger then like we know claps works. Claps is simple. Claps is just yeah. Yeah, click it and it goes. Ba bonk. It's a good looking technique. Oh Bulls have proper physics to them. I was expecting to just walk through them there. Well well well. Uh yeah, I, I still get the first but the like second I don't I don't there's probably a thing for aiming in that with it. There's probably like a, a, a thing where we aim and do something correctly with it in that. I, I'm not going to be very good at it. It's just, it's, look, the technique's there if you're into this type of thing. I don't understand it though. Maybe if, some, if anyone's got any tips for it, let us know in the comments. But otherwise, it's in. I think that's as much time as I can really give to this though because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's good to see the guy that now he's got his technique and stuff in. That's awesome. It's not going to be a technique I use, but you know, it's good to see that it's in. Anyway, more interesting things, in my opinion, anyway. I, Nami's killing all, doing his thing, but... Well, we've now also got Hanami, which, uh, when I first saw Nanami, I originally thought it said this, and I was sad because it wasn't this, and then this appeared, and I was like, oh, oh great. <laughs> da done! So, Hanami is finally in. Hanami has a wood-based curse technique thingy, or nature-based curse thingy. Currently, it has... It's like, it's like one thing that does two things. It's like one thing you can do is in two ways, aka the form of specs are in the form of shooting projectiles, and it's in the book. Ba boom. So yeah, now we've literally got. I'm sorry, didn't notice that was there. Mahito's abilities. Okay, let's look at Nami's first. Let's look at Nami's first. So we've got yeah roots, and that's it. So how this works? You click roots, it summons spikes. Pretty good looking. Cool. Does a bit of damage. Boom, boom, boom. You shift click and you summon the specs as projectiles and fire them off. So again, it's, it's, it's one that's it's not got too, too much going on with it right now. But it does look very cool. And yeah, it's another curse technique that's banned into the world. On top of that, Hanami now exists in the world and can come to fight you. So Hanami has, yeah, way more armor than heal, but a bit less health. But does have that technique. So it's going to be fun when you're just exploring the world. Having a happy old time, and then all of a sudden, wooden spikes just arise at the ground and get fired at you. So, Hanami's pretty much just added to the list of spirits you want to avoid early on in the game. Because <laughs> that would be special grade, will utterly destroy you. But yeah, if you want to, you can take her, turn it, you can ba dum ba dum. Cool. Uh, and maybe we'll see more stuff for it in the future, but yeah, as far as first updates go, it's a good. It, I like it, I think it's cool. So, look forward to see if more stuff comes from that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Observation of the soul gets 64 soul scene. What? Okay, so idol transformation. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay, I was gonna say, like, I didn't think there was anything added for him because, like, the mod maker makes videos in this stuff as well. It's all in Japanese. So, you know, it's got English text uh, bits on it, though, which is handy. But, uh, yeah, very surely he didn't really mention anything about heal, but I did see him, because he summoned him briefly. He didn't really pay too much thing to him. So, I'm like, okay, he's got nothing going on yet. Cool. Hopefully, he'll get something in the future. Okay, his power is listed there, so I have to assume, yeah, he's going to be, like, one of the next things getting worked on, hopefully. So, that should be fun. Yeah, I mean, aside from that, though, it's got more AI brush updates for when things are fighting, so everything's going to be more vicious and more clever. Cool. Or maybe not everything, but some things were. I don't know. I just see AI updates, and I, I see things of, like, you know, them fighting more efficiently and things. So, we'll see if it comes to that. For now, though, I... Gosh, Survival Wars is going to be so much fun. I'm going to go on the hope, though, that Toto realizes who allies and who isn't, and thus doesn't just target you straight away <laughs> with his technique, and just decide, hey, we're being attacked. Let's switch places with that player into, you know... A, well, basically, it's a kid. I just don't want to get transferred into Sakuna's direct play to say. Also, Hanami's absolutely shredding these two. Like, Idori's already gone at this point. <laughs> Tono's not far behind. 
Uh, Hidari is apparently going to be an absolute menace, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Oh, you're 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 up there with Jogo. Of course, you're up there with Jogo. You, Jogo and Dragon, uh, Dragon. They are they are two menaces. Hanami's up there too, and I can't wait to see if Mihio ends up there. And all. Also, okay, I need to check because this is the try. Yeah, hold on, where is where is the thing? I don't know which name this one is. God damn it! What is this guy's name? Uh, blah 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 blah. blah. It's Ishigori. Ishigori. Boom. Okay. Granite Blast. I was told about this. Like, okay, I was clicked it last time. Baboosh. It shoots a projectile off. Cool. Apparently, yeah, you can charge it by holding it. And then you release it. It creates a bigger boom. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to go quite that far. Hello. Okay. I don't know how far you can charge this for. Like, obviously, there's like a. It's, like, I assume this is a, like a max, right? Like. Yeah, okay. I didn't dig too deep, but it will shred the things. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show that. Can you check out? Because, you know, I missed it last thing, so I didn't realize you could charge it. Dump ba dump. But, uh, yeah, okay. Grab, or you just got, it's got a bit more going on with it than expected. Dump ba dump. But, aside from that. Oh, I think I missed last time. I didn't. I didn't notice this because I didn't. I didn't expect this. We've got a new Saguna thrown in the mix, aka, yeah, that one. Okay then. So right, yeah, that he he's big late manga thing. Did people? I basically as soon as I missed him out in the review, people were like, hey. That one's in there. Like, oh, that's a shame I missed that because I could do some fun things like, you know, grab a Gojo and summon them next to here. Because just to see, like, is this is he just going to do Sukuna stuff? Is he just a reskin Sukuna for now? Is he get later stuff? Is he going to get more stuff later? Or are they going to do some other fun stuff? I'm a level of training to summon. Of course, the second needs to go near each other, they instantly start using their abilities to try and counteract each other. Gojo, that was really stupid. You can't can't use your domain against level and trait. It doesn't work. Huh. Yeah, anyway, I haven't seen this guy actually g much wrenching stuff to him, so I'm assuming he's just for now a reskin of Sakuna until other stuff gets added to him later on. But I mean, even still, if he can appear in the over like in the overworld, just having two possibilities of Sakuna spawning. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. That is doubling the odds of Sakuna appearing in your world. That's terrifying. Sakuna's already a nightmare to deal with. He is a final boss of final bosses in this world. I don't, that's not entirely true. I mean, Gojo's... Gojo and him are menaces. It, it depends on your build and stuff, but both of them are absolutely terrifying to fight. When it comes to, like... This guy, the Mod Maker Fizz, he's made a couple of mods. He's made this one, you know, he's made... Well then, uh, he's made Demon Slayer, he's made One Piece, all of them have pretty powerful people in them. We'd argue these two are probably at the tip of the top of all the strong people he's built. I don't think he's killed Sakuna by, I'm pretty sure he's just blasted Sakuna out of PvP range. Or did he actually just kill Sakuna there while I was talking? No idea. Anyway, uh, cool. There's just every guy, just... It's just a reskin Sakuna, but even still, look, it's really cool, they destroy my boxes. That's fine, we're done looking at the stuff anyway. But yeah, I believe that's it for this little mod review though. So yeah, we got some new mobs to farm a Hanami. Um, he oh, we might be able to spawn. Uh, doesn't really have much going on with him yet, but we'll be getting cool stuff coming up, bitch. And a different Sakuna thing was added last time, which is just Sakuna, but even even if it is just Sakuna, like, I, again, two different spawn chances for Sakuna. <laughs> Double the Sakuna in your world? Ah, uh, that sounds like a disaster. Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, sure, there's that. Now we also get the new curse techniques to form of using Nanamis and Hinamis, so... Am I saying their names right? Probably not. Anyway, so, yeah, I don't really get how the sword one works. It, there's a method to it. It's an art form. I, I don't know how to do it, though. Comment section if you know. Go for it. I don't, I don't know, though. Hinamis one, no, it's pretty cool. I, I do enjoy the base to you open up show. Yeah, more cool stuff. Can't wait to see what we get in more updates. Hopefully we get more updates. Dude, Sakai's in the army has been really, really good. And yeah, it's got shaped up for playing 
some Majutsu Kaisen stuff. So, yeah, loving this. But anyway, links down below if you want to check them out. It's 1.62.5. It's really cool. Has, uh, well, you better guess, but uh, tons of manga spoilers. So, uh, you know, play at your own, at your own risk. If you're playing any of his mods, they all have manga spoilers. He just plays based off the manga, which I'm for. I read the manga, so, but do. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for whatever Minecraft mod review thingy, probably Jutsu Kaisen, I end up doing next. Go! Bye, everybody! Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the joining members Sebastian Ramsey, Alex, Btark13, and BG the Loser, and our Anbu member Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.